What does zero zero ejection mean? If an ejection seat has a safe ejection when aircraft is static on ground, that is its altitude is zero and aircraft velocity is also zero then it is called zero zero ejection seat. Ejection seat is the last means of escape of the pilot when his aircraft cannot be recovered. Saving the life of a pilot is very very crucial. At the same time a safe ejection gives confidence to all other pilots using the same technology that their life saving equipment is fit and fine. A question may come to our mind once the aircraft is stationary on ground the pilot can simply get down. Why to eject? There are emergencies such as aircraft caught fire. In such situations he may not be having time to go to the receiving point. Remove his harness and get received. At present the zero zero ejection is a must have featured for military aircraft as most of the accidents take place during landing and take off. But due to technical challenges it could not be made till the recent past. What were the challengers? Well, for ejection it is required to throw the ejection seat along with the pilot out of the cockpit. It is done by gas pressure produced by firing a cartridge between two telescopic tubes. Here the outer tube is fixed on the floor and the inner tube is attached with the seat. This is the electrical cartridge. For ground level ejection it is required to drive out the ejection seat with a great force and acquire sufficient height so that the pilot parachute gets time to deploy. A very powerful cartridge can be fitted to power the ejection. But limitations come as there is a human body in the seat. A more powerful cartridge means more jerk, more g-load on the pilot which may injure his spinal cord. So there was compromise, or in other words some limitations for safe ejection. One of the limitations was aircraft should have some minimum altitude at the time of ejection. But now the ground level ejection is made possible with the help of rocket technology. First the main gun will fire, and it will give the initial acceleration to the seat. When the seat is about to leave the cabin, the rocket motor will fire and it will propel the seat further to a height required to operate the parachute. As the force is applied here in two different stages, the pilot is also able to withstand it. Another limitation of older versions of seats is to have minimum speed at the time of ejection. This is to blow up the canopy with the help of airstream. But in modern aircraft this limitation is also overcome by installing a powerful canopy jettisoning gun which can clear the canopy without the help of airstream. Now all the latest seats are capable of providing safe ejection in almost all flying conditions. If you feel the information I shared with you is valuable and interesting then please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.